Hi, welcome to another OpenShift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how you can deploy op Udo open source ERP onto OpenShift. I have a running OpenShift cluster here. And on this OpenShift cluster, I'm going to deploy uh, Udo open source uh, ERP system. For that, I'm going to create a new project called ERP or whatever name name you choose. Okay. Once you have a project, head to this uh, GitHub repository, Debian master OpenShift example, and then look for uh, Udo folder. And in that, I have some um, some small notes where you can go and um, look back. So I've already created the project ERP, and then I'm going to deploy Udo uh, open source ERP inside that. So first of all, a uh, few exceptions we need to add with respect to security. Uh, Udo is using a non zero uh, UID, but it is still using uh, user ID which is not compatible with the OpenShift. So, you need to put some exceptions adding any UID privilege and as well as privileged uh, uh, secure context constraints. These are one time activities, you don't need to do it every time. And this is with respect to this namespace called ERP. So within the namespace ERP, the default service account will get any UID permission and also the default service account will get privileged access as well. So this is the security uh, aspect of the uh, installation. Once you have that, we can go and install a Postgres database. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm using a Postgres 996 version and then initializing a database. This will install a database inside a ERP project. Okay, you can get this status here. So you can see it is deploying a database, Postgres database container. And once you have that, you can deploy Udo latest version uh, that is 12 and then link it with the Postgres database here. So if you see the DB EMV Postgres, by default it looks at a database name called uh, DB. So there is no explicit linking here. Even if you don't put this environment variable, it automatically uh, ties to the database. But if you're using some other um, database name host here, you have to use all these environment variables, uh, corresponding environment variables in the Udo. Just to make things simple, uh, I stick with the default uh, user ID and password. But if you would like to customize, you can go and check on the uh, Udo 12 documentation of what these environment variables are. With this, I'm going to deploy uh, Udo ERP system now. It is now going to deploy Udo ERP system. Let's be ready. It should list out one database pod and as well as one web web pod. So this is our Udo application and then this is our database that is backed up. And then you can also take a look at the logs of the uh, Udo uh, web application. Okay, it looks like it is all good. You can cancel out and then now you know to access the Udo website you need to expose the service called web because we need we use a name as web so i'm going to expose the service once i have exposed to get the route i'm just gonna just copy this or i can just do oc get routes so you can see this is my url go quickly click on that and then this will load the Udo ERP that is running on OpenShift. Let me see. Uh, the first time it will take some, it will install some uh, tables. So that is why it takes some time to load. But uh, once the tables are uh, installed, it should be quick. So if I do OC like logs minus F, you can see a number of tables getting created. 
that is uh, with the database initialization. It should be okay. Once I go through the screen, it will get created. Sorry about that. So, um, I just create a database called test one, give some values here. Country is uh, Singapore, create database. So, now it should be able to see databases getting created. I mean, get this table, so. Once this is done, we should be ready for accessing the Udo website. Uh, it shows timeout just ignore that now you can go back to the website here first time it loads it to last for setting up a master password and enter the website so I use the same credentials here which I use for registration does ask for setting up a master password maybe because my previous setting I've already done it um, but it will basically ask you to create a database and then a master password and then you can enter okay so once we do ERP system is up and uh, you can install modules maybe I'll install website Can see it is okay. The website is now installed. Um, if I click on website. Just do a refresh, and it will show up the websites as well. So you can see the website is uh, installed now. Okay. Somewhat slow and uh, now, not sure what, why. I open it open it in a new incognito window it should show the website the bare bones of the website all right so that's your Uru website I hope that is useful uh, if you'd like to learn more, uh, please head out to my Twitter handle. Uh, you can definitely subscribe and post uh, more videos in the future. Thank you very much.